At the end of World War II, the Soviets were holding Berlin under siege. In order to save millions of people from starvation, the US and allies devised a plan to airlift in food. One American pilot decided to take it a step further. He delivered candy. My name is Gail Halverson, but I'm known as the Berlin Candy Bomber. I didn't think that the airlift would last very long, so I thought I'd better get a movie of this operation before they send me home. One day, while filming the planes taking off and landing, Gail became aware that there was some young children watching him. He went over to talk to them, and after a while, he realized... Dummy, don't you know kids like chocolate? And I knew that they had not had chocolate in the stores in Berlin for two years. And I reached in my pocket, and I, all I had was two sticks of Wrigley's Double Mint Gum. And I broke the two sticks in half, gave it to the kids, and, and the kids with half a stick tore off the wrapper into thin strips and passed it to those without gum. And those who re received the wrappers put it up their nose and smelled a piece of wrapper. Inspired by their generosity, he decided that next flight, he would drop them chocolate and candy via parachute from the plane. They said, how do we know what, what airplane you're in? And so I said, when I come over the airfield, I'll wiggle the wings of that big airplane. And they said, oh, great. True to his word, the next day, Gail began to drop the packages. What started with just two sticks of gum eventually turned into 23 tons of chocolate. So from then on, I was known in the press and all the kids in Berlin, that's Uncle Wiggly Wings. And in case you were wondering if the candy bomber still has a sweet tooth. Oh yeah, I still eat chocolate. I like dark chocolate. <laughs>